Alright guys, today's video is going to be a little different. I'm going to share with you a fact that not very many people know about me. I'm also going to share with you one of my favorite quotes by Albert Einstein. And as I ride my electric unicycle, I'm going to share with you five places where you can practice riding your electric unicycle or one wheel. These are places that I have gone to learn to ride my electric devices and it's really worked out for me. So let's get started. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Jimmy Chang. What's up guys? You can see it's a little rainy, a little drizzly. Another bomb cyclone supposedly is supposed to hit today. I think the media may be using that term a little loosely now. I've never used those two words together in a sentence my entire life and now I'm hearing it again for the second time in one month. Anyway, so the bomb cyclone's not here yet. It's, it's a little windy, drizzly. I'm gonna ride my electric unicycle off to Zumba. That's right, you heard me. Off to a Zumba class. Zumba, yes, you heard me right. I do Zumba, that's my little secret. It's an exercise fitness program. We'll get more into why I do it in just a sec. Before we get into that, let's talk about where you can practice learning your electric unicycle or one wheel. If you saw my previous video on me learning how to ride the electric unicycle, you'll know it wasn't easy. But I feel like I've progressed a lot in just a short period of time. The learning curve is steep, but if you stick with it, it's going to be a ton of fun. Unlike the one wheel, where most people can just pretty much hop on and figure it out within a few minutes, the electric unicycle takes a lot more effort to pick up. I'd say it's similar to learning how to ride a bicycle for the first time, but most people probably don't remember learning how to ride a bicycle their first time. And so, what can I relate it to? I'd say it's very similar to learning how to ski, both snow ski or water ski for the very first time. If you haven't ever done it before, it's going to be challenging, but if you keep at it, it's going to be very rewarding as well. So I'm going to share with you a few of my favorite places to learn how to ride the electric unicycle. Places that have really helped me to grow and develop my skill on this fun little device. I first learned how to ride my electric unicycle in a large indoor carpeted floor. I know not very many people have access to this, but if you do, you should totally use it. The carpeted floor helps to protect your electric unicycle when you crash. If you don't have anything like that available to you, I think the next best place is a large grassy field. A large smooth grassy field like a soccer field or even a turf field if you have that. The grass in the field will help protect your unicycle from getting damaged again when you fall. And you will fall. Next, you can then graduate to nice smooth paved surfaces. Here I am at the park with my daughter. This was one of my first few days on the electric unicycle, taking it for the first time on a hard asphalt surface. So before I finish up this discussion on where are some of the best places that I like to ride my electric unicycle and one wheel, especially as a beginner or with beginners, let's talk a little bit more about this Zumba thing. I said that I do Zumba. That was my little secret that not very many people know about me. Well, why do I do it? Here I am in one of my Zumba classes. This was towards the end. The reason I go is because of the lady there teaching. And she is my wife. So my wife, last year, decided she wanted to become a Zumba instructor. And so, she did. She took the courses, she learned how to do it, and now she teaches at several places, including here at Crunch Fitness. I go to support her. I know, I'm usually the only guy there, but it gets me moving around and it's actually pretty fun. All right, so I just finished up with Zumba. I'm uh, just gonna play around right now. Weather doesn't look so bad. Um, and yeah, so Zumba, it's a way to stay limber, way to work on that footwork and uh, coordination. A lot of fun. And I get to support my wife, double bonus. At this point, I want to get into a little wheelosophy. Wheelosophy is the study of the fundamental nature of knowledge, reality, and existence as it pertains to the wheel. Yes, I've been accused of talking a little too much in my videos. 
I'm not Sly Dog Stro. I can't ride like him. But one thing I can do is I can talk. And that's what I plan to do for my videos. Talk while I ride my wheel. Thus, the term wheelosophy. One of my favorite quotes comes from Albert Einstein. Once you stop learning, you start dying. That is what motivates me to keep learning. Whether it be chainsaw carving, a new athletic activity such as Zumba, or these fun electronic devices like the one wheel or the electric unicycle, I am always striving to learn so I can continue to improve and to grow. I'm proud of my wife for having the initiative to learn how to do Zumba and then going one step further and actually becoming a Zumba instructor. It's these actions that keep us young. It's these actions that keep life interesting. So going on and continuing the discussion about my favorite places to learn how to ride these electric devices such as the one wheel and the electric unicycle. Earlier you saw some footage. I found a parking lot. A parking lot is a great place to ride. You can ride in parking lots that are empty during the day and during the week such as church parking lots tend to be empty. You can do school parking lots on the weekends and if the weather is bad you can even go into a parking garage until you get kicked out. Other places are nice even trails and paths like this. Here I am on the Colorado Trail. At this park I found this cool little ice rink, little ice hockey rink I think it is. Well the weather is warmed up there's no ice in it anymore, and so it's just nice, smooth cement floor. Perfect for one wheeling. So I had to take the opportunity to play around in this ice skating rink and ride my electric unicycle. This was probably day three of riding the electric unicycle. Day three or day four. So those are my favorite places to ride the electric unicycle. Early on, try somewhere where you have a surface that won't damage your electric unicycle too much because you will be falling a lot. And so you, if you have access to a nice carpeted floor that's in a large room, I think that would be ideal. Then next would be a nice soccer field somewhere where they have a nice maintained lawn, or you could even try it on a turf-like surface. Those surfaces will be less damaging to your one wheel. And then after that, when you feel like you're ready to go, take it on a nice smooth surface, either on a nice straight trail or on a parking lot. You can try parking lots of churches during the week that tend to be less busy, parking lots of schools during the weekends when those tend to be less busy. And then if you get lucky, you can even try it on something like this, an abandoned or unused ice hockey rink. Some other tips that I've learned from my subscribers and commenters on my last video. Apparently I did it the hard way trying to learn how to ride the electric unicycle just hopping on one foot and jumping on. There are other ways, other strategies such as holding on to something like a rail or a shopping cart has been even suggested by Jason from eWheels. I'm sure there's a lot of ways to learn how to ride this thing. but. In the end, I think the most important thing to have is desire. Don't be discouraged when you fall. You will fall. It's going to be a little wobbly at first, but once you get it, it's going to be a ton of fun. It's totally worth it. And after a few days and some 20, 30 miles under your belt, it's going to come so naturally. So that's my encouragement to you. Don't give up. Keep on trying. In conclusion, I just want to share with you one more thing. I recently reached a milestone. 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. Super excited about this milestone. I know it's not the end, but it's exciting to see how far the channel has grown in just eight to nine short months. If you're interested in the electric unicycle, check out the link below. I've got some reviews on my blog. If you click through on my link and end up buying an electric unicycle or something from the eWheels website, that helps to keep the channel going. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all of you. I appreciate the time that you guys take to leave comments down below. 